Hi guys, sorry for the delay. We are here. We're going to jump in with UCA and see how they're feeling today. UCA, oh, yeah. sorry for the delay. Uh, like literally just got home as I went to start this. Uh, and I wanted to talk to them. So how are we feeling today? How are we doing? Um, you looking good for the season. Number six coming in, just squeaking into the playoffs. What do you feel about this matchup? <laughs> I mean, we've already played this team this season. They pass well on us, and we're going to try and adjust to that, stop them, and get Parker going as well. He had a really great game against them. We just couldn't keep up. They got defensive stops, and we didn't. We hope that it is the other way around this time, and we'll be able to get a win today. Fair enough, Coach Kepler. Um, you finally got this offense um, humming, right? Like, the past few weeks have been really good for you guys. Mm-hmm. What are you thinking about this defense going in, Coach Viking? It's pretty good, one of the top – so how are you feeling about Um, Well, we can't psych ourselves out like we did the first time we played them. We lost before we even stepped on the field last the first time we played them because they were in our heads. That's not happening today. We're just going to do what we're going to do, and we'll see if they can stop it. I like it. Everyone is very confident right now. Nismo, welcome back to the playoffs. Um, last playoff game, I believe we saw, we saw you guys. Uh, you lost to UConn. How are you feeling today okay. going into this one? <laughs> How are you feeling today going into this one? Can you stop Parker Howe? Can I stop Parker Howe? No, wow. <laughs> Sorry. Like I said, dude, I'm, um, dude. Yeah, but Parker Howe transferred. What happened? Can you stop Hoffman? Uh, yes, I can because the coach knows best. Dude, I don't like shut anything up, about please. what just happened in this interview. I look like an idiot. I'll see you guys later. Yeah. Let's go, Oakland. Bye. We got to get through this one. Hey, Jack State, how we go? How's it going? Welcome back to the playoffs. Uh, last playoff was last year. Obviously, new coaching staff with Gage and Parker. Viking, welcome back. How you guys feeling going into this one? Uh, and how do you feel about your season? We feel really good, to be honest with you, Pars. Um, hey, and real quick, can you take away my mouse perms and then full screen? Crap, yeah. Can right now. Um, yeah, we, I mean, we feel really good. This is probably the most prepared we've been for a game uh, since – Probably you guys. Yeah, the first I think is for, since the first time we played UCA. Yeah, so I mean we're uh, we're feeling good. We feel really good. We got a really solid game plan. Uh, it's just you know takeaways, halfback angles, takeaways slants, and we should be all right. Yeah, you know how you know exactly what this team does. You know how to play them. Like you said, you've already beat them once. Um, Viking coming into this game, obviously last playoff game didn't go so well. Welcome back. What are you gonna do this game to make sure this one goes your way? You know, like uh, Gage said, uh, this is the most prepared we've been. And uh, honestly, I just feel, you know, we need to play our type of game. And, you know, they haven't changed since the first time we played them and we beat them. We play our type of game, we'll beat them again. Parker, new experience for you. Uh, I don't remember how well you did in Gridiron, but new experience for you here in the playoffs. <laughs> um, how you feeling coming into it? You, you hyped? You ready? They seem a little confident. What do you, uh, what do you play? Yeah, I mean, it's it's going to be chilly out there today. A little bit of snow coming down. Uh, Cyclones are looking good, so I'm locked in. Uh, you know, I, I think the team's going to look good. We've schemed out our offensive plan for the last, like, almost week and a half now. Um, we're feeling confident. We're feeling good about what we can bring. And I'm excited to go up against a team that we've beat before and that we have a very good read on. So we have a good, pull, uh, good touch on the pulse here, and I, I think it's going to go well. All right, I'll see you guys later. Good luck. See you at halftime. Appreciate it, boys. All right, guys. Like I said, sorry. I'm running, running, running. Wife brought me home food because she's lovely and I love her. Um, so as I'm doing this, I'm going to be tall because she just got home. But I'm invested as JSU is going to take this ball out to the 30. A good return of 26 yards from the Heisman runner-up, Gavin Stokes. JSU goes on offense first. Time to make myself a barbecue sandwich with some banana pudding on the side. Anyways, uh, we're seeing a three-down lineman set. They're going to hand it off looking at the set the same way I was. However, it's going to be – if that was Dollar, that was Spinner. I couldn't tell because I didn't watch. But uh, they blitzed every linebacker they had, got them down to the backfield. Second and 13. Let's play some music.
Back to pass, Hoffman looking in the... Oh, caught by Gavin Stokes. Gavin Stokes gets an 11-yard reception, third and two, on a little drag route. Let's get these... CP free. <laughs> I know it's basketball season. Welcome, however, to playoff season. All that matters in life is the RFCL. And it's like, going to be a handoff to Larry Laro. Larry Laro finds the corner, finds the edge, cuts up for 13 yards. Two back-to-back -back plus 10-yard gains gives this team a push down. No. In motion, Gavin Stokes is going to be a play action pass looking. Firing to his right. Oh, could have been a pick six in, or a potential pick six. Instead, it's a two yard reception by Gavin Stokes. The guy's got man hands. Good little, good little look out of the defense there, however. Two yards. Back to pass, looking, firing to his right. It's going to be Camden Robinson on what I believe was an out route. On the sidelines, what a grab. First down. As this team is moving. Hoffman starting out like only Hoffman can this season. Three of three. Two first downs passing. Yes, please like the stream. Listen to CBM. He is wise. Counter run by Larry Laro. Larry Laro trucks a man. He used the truck stick right up on the right thumb stick. And that'll be five yards, second five. What a move by Larry Laro. The guy with too many L's in his name, but all he does is take W's. Under center is Hoffman. Larry Laird is his running back. It's going to be a pitch to Larry Laird. What a pickup by the fullback. Larry Laird trucks another man over. More like a truck slash stiff arm. Back to pass off a play action. He hits a corner route. Almost picked. Instead, it's just knocked down um, by the safety. And that'll bring up second and ten. First in completion today. From either team, huh? Get it? Marcus Avier, the tight end, solo tight end. Back to passes, Hoffman looking, firing over the middle. I believe that was the play, middle slant. Had a man open, misses, third and ten. Back to pass. He's breaking a couple tackles. He's going to throw for the end zone on the corner. It's going to be intercepted. What a weird turn of events right there. 
broke a couple tackles in the backfield, throws a corner out to the tight end, Avier, and it's going to be picked by the safety. First down, UCA. Let me get rid of that helmet. Nobody needs to see it. Handoff up the middle. They were looking for a safety, but they get two yards. Raja Sims, first carry of his entire life. Sorry, my keyboard is loud. Not sorry. Yes, wild a corner out was picked. Flash and pass from his own end zone on a wheel route. Rajah Sims saying, Who needs Will Smith? I don't even know that guy. First down. In motion, jet sweep. Tackle look, looked like a horse collar. However, lost one, second 11. Nobody in here. I guess there's a game going on tonight. What basketball game is going on tonight? I don't even watch basketball. No idea. Back to pass looking. Parker Howell's going to take off. He's going to take a sack. Third and 12. Just brought him down behind the line is the defensive tackle. Keanu Leaf. <laughs> Keanu Leaf brings him down behind the line. What's your wager with the Lord? If you win, does UConn win the Natty next season? Only two people rushing. They still almost got home. He's going to throw the corner out to absolutely nobody. Welcome to the stream. Guys, this, this barbecue is delightful. I just want you all to know that. Putting the ball is UCA, which is probably like one of the better options. Out of them considering they started on their half yard line so still zero zero coming into the second possession of the game for Gavin Stokes and his Jack State Cox Larry Lale up the middle. 12 yards to the, um, the marker guys. The line of game marker guys are running because so is JSU. I think my bracket's good at Oakland one. Why? Because I'm a madman. Handoff up the middle. Larry Larrow once again. He's breaking tackles left and right. The snow might be helping this man.
If they were wearing white, this snow is so heavy that you wouldn't even be able to see Larry Laird out there on the field. About to pass it on the drag route to absolutely no one as that hit this dirt. Third and one. John, even if it was, they didn't call a timeout. And I don't think it was. That looks like a halfback delay with a little um, little pivot there by Hoffman to go the other way. Tight end Avier in the backfield. It's going to be a handoff inside zone. Larry Leonard goes down fourth and three. The field goal unit is more than possibly out. I'd call that I'm going to take a field goal play, but it was third and one, and you're running fairly well. In your passing game, your quarterback just missed a drag route. Kick is up, and good. And it will be three to nothing. The score is how many pounds of meat I just ate. Holy crap. And I got banana pudding. Gage is a G with his vipers. Don't say anything bad about him. This banana pudding is fire. Sorry, I'll get back to the game. Sorry. Five seconds on the game clock. Coming up to the line. How's going to take it? Hand off up the middle. Is that Keanu Leaf again? No, it's LaShawn Bronx. No idea how to say that last name. Finally making an impact. I believe that is a season two recruit. Season one recruit. From Pete. I think Pete the Pirate is that man. Mom, he's that guy. That was delightful. I will have to thank my wife for that. I had uh, pulled pork, um, some cold slaw, a good little spicy barbecue, some beans, and some banana pudding. The wife just brought it home for me. From her, uh, she had a meeting today. That's why I was late. She's. <clears throat> I wanted to say hi to my wife for the first time this week until I had to get on here with you hooligans. <sighs> All right, let's go. I'm in. Food's gone. I'm ready. Four down linemen on the set of J JSU. The defensive tackles are absolutely killing this game right now. Ball over the middle of the field. Absolutely no one but the white of the snow on the ground. And it's going to bounce a couple times because it's third and 11, Mom. I feel bad for the referee that has to go get that ball. What's this, Samuel? Uh, Reed, uh, the white field has been uh, <laughs> deleted. Deleted. <laughs> yeah, I mean... I made a deal with Martin Lazies and that it would be gone. Parker House, shotgun formation, Will Smith to his right. Nick Wallaby, their number one receiver, top left. I believe Victor Vaughn is bottom right. Throw to Wallaby, however, that's going to be out of bounds to the sideline. I know they all look like in the white unis and the white snow, but it's going to be fourth down and 11. Punt, it will come in and second. Neither offense can really get anything going. I mean, even if JSU is getting something going, uh, they threw an interception in the end zone, and they had a kick and field goal their second time. Gavin Stokes, again, the Heisman runner-up. First time ever a quarterback was not the Heisman runner-up. 
The quarterback's won the Heisman three years in a row, but the runner-up is not another quarterback. It is a wide receiver. Gavin Stokes broke every record in the book. That's why he was number one on my poll. Other head coaches are dumb. Handoff up the middle inside zone to Larry Larrow. Larry Larrow cannot make his man miss for the first time today. Gets taken down. Gain of nada in its first and ten. I don't know who voted for Parker. Who got me messed up? JSU, right around midfield. Well, they're four yards off of midfield, but it is what it is. By himself in the backfield is Hoffman, who has been one of the most impressive quarterbacks this season. He throws it over the middle. He's got his guy. He had two guys around the same spot, but Trey Lane comes down with it. Gavin Stokes was behind him. Luckily, it wasn't picked off when you're throwing into that much traffic. You know, when you're throwing into that much traffic, it gets a little dangerous. Let's get Buck McBuckster off. And let's go back to... He's just getting flashbanged. Like, I feel bad for the guy. He's going to lose his sight in five years. Hand off on another inside zone to Larry Lowe. He's going to pick up three yards, second and seven. I mean, look at him. His eyes are shot. There's no way. I mean, it's probably the snow, the sun reflecting off the snow is what I'm going to go with. Shot. Done. That's why he wears those pit vibes. He can't see a thing. Play action pass. Hoffman looking. Hits the flat. It's Marcus Avier. Avier is going to make a – he don't make a man miss. He's going to drag him for another three, though. First and ten, Marcus Avier, 11-yard reception. Probably the shortest tight end in the game. Uh, by a mile? I I imagine I'm not even sure he was supposed to be a tight end in the first place, but he is. Wad five wide is the scummiest formation other than double stack is the most wild thing I've ever heard you say. Anyways, play action pass again. Hoffman looking firing to his left. It's going to be another interception. Too many people around the ball. Oh, what a block. Did anyone see that? Uh, watch this block. Camden Robinson's going to run back. Boom. Oh, you can't see it. Do I have a replay button? That block is what win people money in the draft. A second interception off the second. That's the second time they went to that side and it's been picked. Start throwing to the right more. Have some more uh, form. Uh, have some more scheme. Scheme up the right side a bit. And your run game's working too. No reason to really do back-to-back -back play action passes. Anyways, can Parker How your Heisman winner, get anything going? This is his senior season. His final chance. It's going to be a screenplay. That's going to be snuffed out quickly. Loss of one. Will Smith. I believe a junior. So he is coming back. Loss of one. But yes, Parker Al, your Heisman winning quarterback. And this is his senior season. He has yet to win a playoff game. Meanwhile, history of these programs, Jack State was the runner-up in the season one national championship against the UCO. In season four, they're looking to get back here. Season three playoffs were not kind of them. Bucky looking ready, I believe. Kepler is the offensive coordinator in charge of all play calling today. Back to pass. Looking, the drag route was there. He's going to throw to the drag route, and that's going to be a gain of one. Amon Simmons coming from the right side. Did a little stutter step there at the end just to give himself more room. Third and ten. Well, I don't know why you're talking back to me, man. That back talk on Discord. You are scum. Johnny Jolly's transferring without even playing us. Playing a snap. He's gone. Johnny Jolly gone. 
If you're interested in a five-star pocket passer quarterback, hit me up. Back to pass is Parker Howe. He's going to throw the halfback angle route way above his man. Fourth and ten is Parker Howe can't get anything going. I feel like a majority of his yards came in one ball. As Gage is stretching, this man is ready down there on the sidelines. I should do a sideline interview. Gavin Stokes taking it out. Ten yards past the 50, I believe. First and ten. This has been the shootout I'm sure we all thought it was going to be. I burnt my tongue really bad today, so I'm, I'm struggling right now. <laughs> Handoff to the left goes Larry Larrell. That's a horrible block out of that out of that guard. Was that the pooling guard? That was a terrible attempt at a block. Turn right. Just turn right here. Turn, turn. Big guy. No legs. All upper body. He's got that prison build. Couldn't turn his body in time. Three down linemen. It could be spinner. Uh, however, they're in a throw situation. I believe it is not. Is this going to be 3-3-5? Three, three, It'll be a zone coverage, and the middle's wide open. He found the hole in the coverage. DJ Hunter, 17 yards, first and 10. Hoffman has hit six different receivers. Well, eight, if you count the two different quarterbacks he hit. But, eight different people. Handoff, Larry Lerald. He's taking it up the middle. He's going to truck stick a guy. He's going to shrug off another. Call him Derek Henry. He's making people miss like that. Actually, don't call him Derrick Henry. Derrick Henry's in this league. He's not very good. Georgetown running back Derrick Henry Jr. Speaking of Georgetown, hello, Tacos. Is your head coach going to break every rule in the rule book tomorrow night? Probably. I mean, tonight after this game? Probably. Under center is Hoffman. Could be a run to the right on a little stretch, but you don't really see that in this league. You only see halfback dives. So we're either looking at a halfback dive, and we are. Take off to the left. He's going to make a man miss. He's going to run into two guys. He's not scared of anybody in this cold. Man, he doesn't have a single sleeve on. Nothing like that. Just running into people. This man knows no pain. Knows no fear. For he is Larry Larry. Eight first downs to one first down, and you're only losing three to nothing. It's incredible. I just want to say that right now. Nismo is doing everything he can to keep this team alive. Back to pass, looking, firing to the left. It's going to be caught by Marcus Avier. 14 yards, first and goal. Look, man, look at Hoffman. That man is blind right now. He's wearing a clear visor in the snow. He's looking down. The lights are blaring. He can't see anything. No wonder he's doing two interceptions. Anyways, handoff up the middle. Larry Lettles making a guy miss. He bounced off another. That's a touchdown, and that's an FU out of gauge. He's feeling some type of way as Larry Lerald is proving himself to should have been the starter all season. Uh, he's been one of the most consistent, one of the best running backs in the game since they put him in. It's really upsetting about his name. Bucky does not look good. He's looking. He's biting nails. He's looking. Down there on the sideline. Let's see Coach Buck. Let's see how his offense goes back up. As we are getting the UCA with the ball. TD, why, why are you so like you, you whelp about JSU and everything? You rooting for UCA? You got you got a dog in the fight here? You got a player on the team? Kickoff return goes 
not even the 30. Victor Vaughn takes it out. Victor Vaughn was their number one receiver last season. I think he was the season before that, too. Very good player. Doesn't get the looks that he should anymore because Nick Wallaby has taken off on his offense. And they're more of a rushing, t rushing team now. Ender, welcome. Where you got a job at next season, Ender? Where you OC at, kid? Where you OC at, kid? You taking over TD spot, huh? All right, anyways, handoff up the middle goes absolutely nowhere. They are bringing the heat. They have. They don't even know what to do right now in offense, Central Arkansas. We're almost to halftime. Well, that went very quickly, but almost to halftime. And this offense can't do anything. In fact, I believe this is, what, their fourth time with the ball and the fourth time they're starting behind the chains? Behind the sticks? I apologize. Uh, second 11. I feel like it's been second 11 since we started the game. I don't feel like that's your decision. <laughs> I feel like I know that. <laughs> Anyways, taking on running Parker Howe. Can't even get off his own guys as the spy will be there to take him down. And that'll be Keanu Leaf, the defensive tackle uh, in the spy formation. That must have been cover two sync with the spy. Welcome to UConn. Welcome back to UConn, I should say. Actually, this is your first time on UConn because you were with me for South Alabama, which by the way, goaded. I've already asked Gerald to bring back the South Alabama Red Unis next season. Anyways, <clears throat> Will Smith next to Parker Howe. Parker back to pass. Hasn't been able to get anything going, but he's going. Oh, the big boy, LaShawn Perrant, hits it down. These defensive tackles are running this game. Keanu Leaf and LaShawn running this game. What is this music? Playoff Howe is not great. But no, if I know anything about Central Arkansas, they're going to do amazing in the fourth quarter. No Heisman has ever won a natty in this league. The closest one was season one. Uh, no, it wasn't. No Nat, no, whoa, no Heisman winner has won a playoff game. Back to pass, looking, firing to no one, felt the blitz, throws it away, and it's going to be incomplete second and ten. That's insane. Think about it, because obviously the rightful winner of season one was uh, Grant, the quarterback for JSU. However, it went to the running back. UIU didn't win a playoff game that season. Then we go to next season, Fred Weasley loses his playoff game. The next season, Fred Weasley loses his playoff game. Parker Howe now. No Heisman winner has won a single playoff game. Back to pass, firing wide open Larry Lerald as they sent the house. Third and one, hurry up. Or go extremely slow. Here we go. Back to pass. They're just sending everyone at this point. They got them all mixed up. It's fourth and one. That was a good blitz call. Um, I feel like usually without the two interceptions, obviously, usually by now Hoffman's a little hot and will hit that. Wasn't feeling that way, though, as they might go for it here, fourth and one. I think they're on their side of the 50 right now, so that kind of makes sense. With 30 seconds left, Parker hasn't been able to hit the back. Parker hasn't been able to hit the back side of the barn. A little power L would go good here. But then if you come out in this pistol, you've got to think you're going to hurry up right away if you get this first down. So you want to come out in something that you're happy going hurry up in. They're going to have to call a timeout. Yep. Timeout, JSU, taking too long. So you got to come out in something you're happy about going hurry up in. 
You come out in that pistol, do you like your pass plays enough to get a first downs only from there on out? If the answer is no, you have to come out and shotgun. Um, because right now you only have one timeout. So that thought process wouldn't took too long. Do you trust this enough? They're on the uh, oh on the UCA side. Back to pass Hoffman. They're blitzing everybody. He's gonna have it with his man, Gavin Stokes. Hurry up. Yep, see, you come out in this formation where you like it. You know your passing plays out of split close. You can call whatever you want out of this, but first downs only. That's what you're telling Parker. I'd be surprised if Parker was calling a play right now. But that's what you're telling yourself. First downs only. If the if it's not getting a first down, you're not calling the play. Ooh, did they hit Hoffman? Hoffman was on the ground. Oh, no, holding. What? Oh, yeah. <laughs> My brain just went away. All right, so now you're just looking to go into halftime. Actually, you're throwing back to pass. Hoffman looking, firing. Oh, Gavin Stokes is too good. If this was the NFL, that's a first down. Timeout, JSU. Gavin is too good. That's the rightful winner right there. I can't believe I ate all that food. Three down linemen on the side of UCA. Back to pass off a of play action. It, yeah, it's going to be... Oh, my goodness, Gavin. Gavin just bought them another play. No way Gavin Stokes is so good. Bought them another play. Able to get the first down. I thought the half was over. Turns out it's not, and I should never discredit Gavin Stokes again. Play action pass. Same play. No. Nope. Are they going to ask for a same play check? 58-yard field goal. We can't even make this. And we have a five-star senior kicker. Actually, I think we kicked 60 one time this season and it just went wide left. We could hit it. It just went wide left. You're not hurting yourself by trying. The time's going to tick. You're in the snow. Which way is the wind going? You got to come out and return if you want to return this. They're not fake field going. It doesn't work. Straight up, will not, does not work. Kick is off and not even close. All right, guys. We're going to hop in here with JSU, see how they're feeling, see how they're doing. Um, go from there. That's a good fucking half. Let's go. All yeah, right. I, I take that instantly. That was a great half from the boys. Hoffman with two interceptions, though. Uh, Gage, Parker, what are you guys doing to really calm him down out there? You know, we're going to get him warm. And I'm not talking about in the sense of the game. I mean, we got to get this guy in a jacket, get him some hot hands. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. But apparently he can't feel his right hand right now, so we got to fix that. Viking, defensive tackles from you guys have taken over this game. Uh, Keanu has a sack. He also has a pass <laughs> deflection, which is insane. Uh, LaShawn has been amazing as well with a sack and a tackle for loss. What are you doing with those guys on your defensive line to really get back there and beat that O-line? You know, it doesn't take much. I mean, when we can get to the quarterback only rushing two, that's just that's just pure power and skill. Um, but, you know, we've been working a lot with the D-line to uh, get them up to par for this game after our last uh, few games with missed tackles and everything. Uh and that, you know what, they're performing, and I, I'm loving it. <clears throat> you guys are winning the trenches on both sides, to be honest with you. Uh, Parker, real quick before I go, the run game, you're going to start leaning on it. Larry Larrell looks like prime Derrick Henry out there trucking everybody. It's like right stick. I mean, yeah, we've already been using quite a bit of the running uh, playbook that we use. Uh, it's looked good. It's definitely something that we're going to stay with continuing forward. Uh, ever since that second half of the season, when we put in Larrell, these look good, so... We don't want to wear him out, but at the same time, we're going to have to lean on him a little bit here in the second half. All right, guys. We'll talk to you at the end of the game. Good luck. Gentlemen of UCA, uh, how are we feeling after that half? Not exactly the greatest from your Heisman winning quarterback. 
Um, yeah, you could say that. You know, it wasn't very pleasant to any eyes ever, but um, we're feeling okay. We're still going to trust in Parker. He won the Heisman after all. He's a 9-9 overall quarterback. Should be able to hit passes after throwing zero picks. So, you know, uh, we're going to keep trusting him. Buck mentions overall and a thing. Put him back in death row. Anyways. I'm already there. Anyways. Yeah. Uh, Nismo, the defense, outstanding. You might have given up 10, but two end zone interceptions. You got a few sacks. You're Larry Lowell's running all over the place. But what are you going to do on defense coming out here? Just more of the same stuff? Uh, yeah, pretty much. All right. Kepler, uh, real quick. So I did some digging. I did some thinking. A Heisman winning player has yet to win a single playoff game through four seasons. Um, are you trying to warm up? You know Parker to be that guy he's been all season. What's going on right now? Mm, well, I know Parker has it in him to be great. That's why he won the Heisman. Uh, if we go away from Parker, I don't see a way we win this game. So I'm counting on Parker stepping up, being the leader he's been all season, showing why he's the Heisman, and putting us back in this game. All right, guys. Hope he can be the first Heisman to win a single playoff game. Uh, I'll see you guys uh -huh. at the end of the game. <laughs> That's an insane stat. I mentioned it a few times because that is an insane stat. To the game freeze. The game crashed. Fantastic. All right, guys, I'll be right back.
Alright everyone, we're getting this thing back up and running the game. Did crash. Getting back into it, let's see what we can do here. Um, see if we try to create the same score. What's the plan here? Are we just completely doing it again, or are we creating the same score? It looks like we're replaying. So we'll jump right into it. Uh, UCA will get ball first. Dang, not what you want to see. But we are back. Let's get to it. Now I've got to sit through the whole game again. <laughs> uh, they hate me. Will Smith offset look. Pass by Parker Howe looking, firing over the middle. Could have been picked. Instead, it's caught by Nick Wallaby. Great hands to be able to hold on to that ball. Is that gonna go hurry up? Watch this be a completely different game now. And off Nick uh Will Smith. Will Smith good for two. First down. They have already tied their first downs from before the crash. <laughs> With one. Handoff on a counter is that's going to be blown up in the backfield. Second and 13, and this we have seen before. Nah, they're probably, probably playing the whole game. If they play a half, I'm fine with that. We'll just say JSU 10 nothing. but I have yet to hear anything. I'm just kind of going with it. What happens, happens. We'll go until one of the teams lose. Will Smith to the right by himself. Back to pass. Looking for the halfback angle. He's got it. Will Smith with eight yards, third and five. We were kind of rushing. I didn't get a chance to ask. Oh, this should be a play action pass. That PA bash or wide receiver in looks great. Parker's already completed a pass. That's insanity. Two passes. Almost time when he had in the first half of last one. Will Smith back in the backfield with his star quarterback, Parker Howe. Ahmad Simmons on the bottom of your screen. Nick Wallaby at the top. Back to pass. Looking, firing over the middle. It'll be caught, but almost taken out of his hands. Isaiah Murphy with another strong catch first down. And already three passing completions. Ties what he had last time. A weird look if you are the side of the defense. You might want to flip the defense. It's a blitz to the weak side, strong side. Uh, it'll be caught by Victor Vaughn for 11 yards in the first half. 
as UCA is marching for the first time today. Already passing their first time. Murphy, Vaughn, Simmons, Wallaby, Will Smith. A great team of weapons out here for Parker Howe. What can he do with them as Parker's changing stuff at the line? Back to pass. That, dude, that defensive tackle is so good. As he's going to throw it out of bounds. Second down. That defensive tackle pretty much pushed the guard directly into his face. Durham looks like an insane play. What is this out of? Bunch half back strong. Do not have it in my playbook. Do not have it in my playbook. Adding it now. Back to pass. Looking. Firing. And I believe it was the Durham play. That's LeBron James for 11 yards and a first down. What's going on, Monster? I'm not making any assumptions of what's happening, and I'm not adding gauge mid-game. Back to pass, Parker Howe firing a corner route to Victor Vaughn, 14 yards, first and 10, and UCA, this is too easy right now. UCA finally getting something going. You know, before the crash, it was, they couldn't get anything going. I think the whole team was cold. Pick a play. Six for seven. 62 yards is Parker Howe. Playing much better this time around. Two tight end look. Wallaby and Simmons in the bottom of your screen. Will Smith in the block. It's going to be a pass. It's intercepted. Intercepted by the linebacker. What a pick. An end zone turnover from the from a red zone turnover. My bad. If you are UCA and nothing can go right. So let's get Nothing can go right if you are UCA. Finally drive, driving, finally having something good happen just to throw it away? Not a good look, kids. Not a good look. Parker Howell's turn. Not Parker Howell. Hoffman's turn. He's back to the fire. He's looking. He's going to hit his man over the middle on a weird animation as Cannon Robinson starts to dive, gets hit backwards, stands up, and then takes another hit. What a catch. Handoff goes Larry Larold on a stretch play, six yards. Dollar three two six base. A lot of people are starting using dollar, dude. I like dollar. UCA, what can they do? Can they hold this JSU offense? Back to pass. He's going to fire over the middle to Gavin Stokes on a drag route. He got that ball out of his hands quick as that blitz was coming in fast. Gavin Stokes with the catch. Yes, I'm messing with things live. Get over it. This is my favorite look right here. Two head coaches. My favorite look. Back to pass hopping. Could have been. What was that? That guy flew. Like flew at the ground. Anyways. Uh, third and four. On what could have been a fumble. And then. I don't think ever could have been an interception. But that guy didn't know that. Back to pass. Hitting his man. Uh, no corner around him as that's going to be another first down. Marcus Avier, the tight end. Again, maybe the smallest tight end in the league picks up the first.
Could see this being Buck Sweet Dummy. Yeah, dummy. Three or four, 26 yards. Both QBs starting this half out pretty nice. Parker Howell with the interception, though, after going six for seven. Uh, he was hitting. Read option. Larry Lowell up the middle. Uh, the pulling guard did him no favors. Ran into him. Knocked him down, basically. And it'll be second and seven. Coming out in three down linemen look again. I'd run on this L all day, of the, every day of the week. But five wide out of Hoffman. Back to pass looking, firing. He had a man. He, he just needed to wait another split second, and he had him turning around. A little hitch. Back to pass, looking, firing, hitting his man over the middle. What a dart if you are Hoffman. To throw it over the middle like that, that man does not care. No worry in the world. That is a dart fit between two defenders and the safeties coming down. Hand off left side, Larry Lerald, a good pickup if you are that pulling, but he, nothing happens. Zero yard gain. JSU marching on uh, this drive, I believe, started on their own 12. So they are marching down the field. Let's see what they can do here. They are in field goal range. Back to pass, looking, firing out into the flat. Oh, Larry Lerald's the best. Larry Lerald's the best. There's just He's just the best. There's no getting around it. He's breaking every tackle. Regardless, it doesn't matter. The snow is doing this man wonders. This is prime Adrian Peterson, ladies and gentlemen. I'm surprised nobody's made AP yet. Anyways, prime Adrian Peterson. Larry Lerald, Trey Turner, both in the backfield looking, firing. He's got his man wide open, Larry Lerald, on a little in route. Uh, he went on, motion to the right side, stopped, ran up, didn't end. Easy touchdown, wide open. Just absolutely messed with the defense. Kick is up and good. The score is seven to nothing in this new first quarter. Oh, we are not starting it over. It is from the half. So theoretically, just listen to me real quick. Ready? Get closer to your phone. Put your ear directly to what you're listening from, ladies and gentlemen. Like this is a radio broadcast in the seventies. The game did not start over. It's the third quarter, minute and two left. I'm, I'm setting a scene here. Snow falling down onto the field. People slipping and sliding. Larry Lerald has just trucked a baby. It is 17 to 7, Jack State, in the third quarter. Back to pass, Parker Howell looking, scanning, firing, got a man uh, on a, a quarter out, Isaiah Murphy, 21 yards, that is a low morale play. Back to pass, Howell, he's going to fire a wheel 
But why is he putting so much air under that thing? Get that thing down. Second and ten. <clears throat> Running out of time to come back in this game. Had a perfect opportunity for points on the last drive. Threw an interception. You got, what, six minutes left? To come back in this game, down three scores. <clears throat> Back to pass, Parker Howe firing incomplete. Throw to a man who wasn't even open. Uh, when Howe cools down, he cools down quick. And hard. Forty-eight seconds left in the third quarter. You got to think they're looking to score, and they're looking to score here. They don't want to go in the fourth quarter down three scores. You're looking to score quick. Go in the third quarter down ten. Only blitzing two linemen, and they're still going to get back there. It doesn't matter. It's a pick. Parker Howe with another interception. <clears throat> JSU ball, and they are firmly in the driver's seat. As one could say. As I did. <coughs> Slowly dying. Can JSU score here? Make it 20 to nothing, 24 to nothing. Play action pass looking, firing. He's going to find his man. That's going to be Trey Turner on a wheel route, I believe. Uh, first time today we've heard his name. He might be a senior. Uh, head coach John is his creator. Handoff up the middle. Larry Larold goes down after a gain of four, second and six. Do they go hurry up again and try to score? Like, quick? I don't think so. Oh, the total yards are cl close, man. Parker's just making too many mistakes. Uh, Will Smith needs the ball more. They're blitzing everybody. The ball is out of his hands quick. Marcus Avier gets the ball with eight yards, third and two. They're really hoping they blitz everyone again. <laughs> Little tight end angle route was nice. Fourth quarter, put your fours up, boys. It is 17 to nothing, JSU. Need a prayer here if you are UCA. Uh, you have two red zone interceptions so far this game. Can you get a third? You need one right here. You don't even want to let this team have a field goal. You need a fumble, an interception, so a field goal is just kind of happening. That guy in the slot is wide open. Send that guy deep. Don't switch. The, you have the numbers. You had everything you needed. It's going to be a handoff up the middle. Larry Lerald is going to pick up the first down. What do I know? I'm not here. They are. Four yards. First down, Jason. Hoffman back to pass. Looking. Firing. Has a man wide open on a little hitch route. Gavin Stokes. Four yards. Second and six. Little stop and go there. Oh, jet sweep here out of them would be uh, well advised. This team loves jet sweeps. The uh, father of the jet sweep, in my opinion, Gage. Hoffman could be looking to pass this ball. It's going to be a play action pass. He had a man, just needed to wait one more second. Was scared of the blitz, I'd say. Getting a little bit of antsy feet, throwing it to the dirt. Third and six.
Why was my why was I muted for that? That was insane. DJ Hunter, a little run out to the right, throw to the middle. That was insane. When did he redshirt, John? When did he redshirt? Last season? I swear I saw him last season. Handoff up the middle. Larry Larrell. Larry Larrell just goes in for the touchdown. Easily, barely touched. It's going to be, it is right now 23 to nothing. Sorry for having my mic muted when he rolled out to the right and hit uh, hit his hand. DJ Hunter over the middle. A little bit of an insane play. Don't know how that happened or wasn't picked off. Almost broke enough tackles to get into the end zone. Stupid stuff. That's insane. Man, one team has come to play today. This home team has come to play today. It's a little crazy how well this is going for Jack State. They didn't look good on their final game of the regular season. Had time to prepare. You heard them in the pregame comments. They were feeling darn good. Will Smith up the middle. He's just so good. 19 yards. He went about 18 before he was even touched. Play action pass looking, firing deep. Parker Howell did never even have that guy. In the corner off the top guy came off, played the slot receiver with the corner already on the slot receiver. Knocked it down easy. What is Bucky doing? You having fun laughing while losing in the playoffs? That's insane. Back to pass. Looking. Firing to the left. He's got a man on a corner route. Will Smith. Could have kept running. Runs out of bounds, though. First and ten. Back to pass. Hall, you're going to see how passing a lot. That's picked. Through right into double coverage. Easy interception. And this is how Parker Howe is going out on his college career. In his final game of his college career has not gone well for him. As you see, he won a playoff game. I think they did to play UConn once. No, I don't think Parker has ever won a playoff game. A special end to his career who went in the Heisman did not go well after that. Claxton pass looking, firing Hoffman deep to nobody but the sideline. He's 10 of 14 with a touchdown. Pitch, good block there by number 13. That's going to give Larry Lerald six yards. I believe that was Michael Thomas, uh, third and four. What a block by number 13. Get around the corner, big boy. Play action pass looking. Fire! That's going to be picked. Could it be pick six? No, he's going to run backwards. 
He's going to run into the guy backwards. We're just seeing JSU laugh. They're having fun. They're up 24 to nothing. They're having a good time. Has Parker Howe ran once? Anyways, back to pass, looking, firing out to his left on a little hitch route is LeBron James. He's going to take it for nine yards, second and one. A little, some read options would have done well this game, I feel. Back to pass to no one. All right, that was such a bad ball. That was the worst ball of the game. And we've seen a bunch of interceptions. We've seen five interceptions this game, and that's the worst ball of the game. And off up the middle, Will Smith picks up a yard first and ten. Hit off up the middle. I mean, that guy's just scared for his life back there. Second 11 again. How many times today have we seen second 11? That's insanity. Two minutes to count, bugger. Little PA cross. They're coming out in shotgun tight. Start throwing bench plays. All rules out the window call bench put Parker out running back do a halfback toss pass firing to no one Nice catch and run. Back to pass. Almost gets hit. However, finds Wallaby uh, for first down. They've already got 10 first downs. Wow, they are marching. Two interceptions, though. Doesn't help. Double stack, bench plays, all of it. Do it. Do it now. Pass to no one again. And that's a flag. I don't are they even paying attention? Delay of game. We even here anymore? Like are we here spiritually, physically, mentally?
Handoff. Will Smith. Oh, wow. What a crease. Third and two. Picks up 13 yards. What a crease there by the offensive line to really open that hole up for their running back. Down a lot. Game's not over. You can score within a minute. I mean, you can't, but. Back to pass is Rodgers. He's going to throw it deep. Oh, he overthrows his man. He was open for a touchdown. You got to feel a certain way for UCA. If you hate him, you feel great. If you love him, you feel terrible. If you just love football, you hate what you're seeing. Timeout. Why are you kicking this field goal? It's fourth and two. You're down 24 to nothing. Oh, look at Gage. That was insane. It was like an anime moment. He just <laughs> went crazy. It's a fake field goal. They never work. It just, Parker Howell was in at quarterback, and it still didn't work. Oh, no. <laughs> It'll never work in the history of ever. And, uh, oh, read option. Hoffman going down would be insane if he got hurt. I'm going to jinx it. It would be insane if they ran with Hoffman one more time and he got hurt. Going into next week against, uh, I don't know. Uh, they played the Grizz next week. Interesting matchup. JSU versus Grizz. Back to pass. It's going to be a screen play to Larry Larrell. Larry Larrell is going to take it. He's got wide open field. He's just going to truck a guy over fun. Didn't need to do that. He just lowered his shoulder, hit a guy down, and fell with him. Did not need to do that. <laughs> now, all right, put, take him out of the game, coach. Now, I'll get the stats real quick before you end it. Smart. Smart, 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 Gage. This is why you run stuff around here, coach. That's why you're in charge. Throw to Gavin Stokes, five yards. That's game. He, he stepped out of bounds for no other reason than he wanted to, I guess. Uh, Could have just went down. Uh, I think Coach Bucky's done. He's on his phone. You could look down on the sidelines and see a glare on his glasses. Larry Larrell gets taken down for no gain, a second and ten. Time will tick. A little tight end angle route to end it here. Go ahead and pass it. No, I'm kidding. Please run the ball. <laughs> A shutout in the playoffs should be illegal. Halfback counter is... Uh, Easily another first down from Larry Larrell. This guy has been the best. The best around. It's too good. 
40 seconds left in the game. That's going to be a delay of game. Oh, Gabe said that's his fault. Didn't even pay attention. Didn't even pay attention. I can just have it on stream, Gage. Back to pass, looking, looking, firing out to the left. He's got his man out of bounds. Oh, no. Second 12, 27 seconds left. Run the ball. RTDB. RTDB, RTDB. Handoff, inside zone, tackled for a loss of three. Wow, what a hit. That'll be the end of the game. Perhaps. As long as neither team takes a timeout, which I know they are both willing to do so. And that's the game. All right, we are currently joining the winners of the playoff game today. Uh, 24 nothing skunked them. Uh, how are we feeling after that performance? Absolutely amazing performance from the boys. Yeah, I don't think it's a performance, I think, if you ask me. Uh, like I said, it's probably the most prepared we've been for a game since we played them in week three or four, whatever it was. And it showed. Uh, you know, if we held off from playing uh, halfback only in third to three, then we would have played it because we felt like it was pretty clear uh, across both sides. So they both played cheesy, which is cool. Um, defensively, we're the only team in the league with two shutouts, lining up three with the shutout in the playoffs against the Heisman winner. I mean, shout out to Bronco for that. Hard to That's call your Heisman winner. Hard to call the hell of a game. It is what it is. We're at 24 Bethel now. We're going to where Bozemont or something. Missoula. Uh, you are going to go play against the Grizz. Now, um, uh, everyone's been saying it. Heisman winners historically, no, not a single one has won a single playoff game. So you came out, you dominated defensively, held them to zero of uh, Vikings. Just how you feeling? How about your team? Uh, I feel great. You know, I feel like we performed up to the standard that our defense should be uh, playing to. Um, you know, it was a hell of a game by our defense, obviously. Got, you know, like four interceptions. And I'm just proud of them. And they finally showed what they can, oh. what they're truly capable of. Parker, a great all-around game from your offense. About three interceptions from Hoffman, though. Going against the Grizz, uh, historically not a great corner room that they have however the defense has been pretty stout what are you looking to change going into next week um you know i think i think we stick with the game plan i mean it's worked we're just going to scout them really well um like we always do um execute i think hoffman will be better once we get into a bowl setting um out of the snow you know he, i think he was robbed of the heisman i think he was the best passer all year best player um Slowed down down the stretch, but that was just us adjusting game plan. And I think you saw today why he was the better quarterback. All right, thank you guys. Good luck next week as you continue your push for another nat for to get back to the national championship. Thank you. Thank you. UCA, a uh, little disappointing there at the end. I feel it. However, how do we feel the team did this season? I mean, what can I you know. take from it? I don't, there's really just nothing. I'm mean, like, I'm 100% honest here. Dude, I'm not the best. Okay, the doesn't even... I mean, <laughs> I, was Stop, to read off the, I was trying to read off the load star script, but please anyways, don't. Um, you know, we're feeling, you know, obviously uh, not very good about what happened just now, but the season, really good season for us, probably our best in program history. Uh, just sucks that we couldn't get anything going tonight on offense. Defense played great. They got stops when needed. Just offense couldn't get anything going. They stopped their run. They stopped their pass. Uh, credit to Parker. His defense is great. But, yeah, great season. But next season, we'll hopefully uh, 
you know, bounce back. We got a we got a really good defense coming, a lot of five stars, really good recruiting class. So next year, season five, uh, we're gonna try and make a have an even better season than before. All right, I won't keep you guys too long. Cap, you're losing your quarterback. Any idea who's coming in? Um, well, we got a guy. We got a guy, a user recruit, and we also got another guy that I'm gonna keep under wraps for now. But we yeah, shouldn't be. Yeah, you'll, you, you, we're you'll not gonna see, be destitute next year. All right, yeah, Niz. We're gonna, be, we're gonna be looking good. Are you here next year, buddy? Um, it's complicated. All right, we'll leave it at that. I like that answer. Shut, yeah, shut show, stop trolling. Shut, show, shut up, Pete. I don't, I don't hear it. All right, I'll see you guys next season. All right. uh, see ya. All right. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is it from me. JSU moves on to play the Grizz next week. Uh, we do have a bowl game coming up. Uh, I'll see you guys later.